how do you practice your business with uh, faith in mind? Um, what are you doing on a day-to-day -day basis um, in your business that uh, can be backed by your faith? The secret of doing a conference and going to a conference like this is first you might think, well, these faith and business are two different things, faith and work, what do they have to do with each other? But at the end of the day, think about it. Are you happy at what you do at work? Do you enjoy work? Do, are you a person who goes to, who's unbearable on Sunday evening because you have to go to work the next day? Well, if you integrate your faith and your work, your work takes on a meaning far beyond just making a buck, just being there and putting in your hours, or even just to pursue a profit or so, but it becomes something truly meaningful. I think to separate them is to do a huge disservice, that we perform most optimally when we understand that our vocation, what God has called and gifted us with, is really what leads us every day of the week, Monday through Sunday. And so when we root ourselves in a foundation of Christ, we begin to discover the power that has in our work, because our work is essentially our ministry. Over the course of the conferences that I've attended, there's sort of this uh, overarching theme of Sunday into Monday, taking Sunday into Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and the rest of the week. And um, that is such a simple but powerful concept. I see faith at work in the Sioux Falls business community constantly. I think it is top of mind for business leaders of organizations large and small in this community. So it's probably not surprising that something like the Faith and Business Conference has taken off as well as it has here. We're all busy and it is hard to make time to go to events of any kind, particularly those that require a sizable amount of your day but this is an important one. Uh, as a new business owner, I get told all the time, be careful you don't spend too much time working in your business. Make sure you set aside time to work on your business. That is easier said than done. I know that. Um, but this is working on your business. It's working on yourself in a critical, powerful way. How is it that we can take faith-principled leadership and faith principles and integrate them into our business practices so that we do business better and we become better.